we're going to go over some rules for drawing Lewis structures. And we're going to use the molecule carbon tetrachloride to go over these rules. The rules for drawing Lewis structures with carbon tetrachloride. Do you all know what the formula for carbon tetrachloride is? You do. What's the formula? Carbon tetrachloride. Yeah. Isn't it CCL4? Y'all know that. Okay, first rule is to add up the total number of valence electrons. Now, you guys realize for carbon tetrachloride, there's one carbon. How many chlorines are there? Four. So I have to add up valence electrons for the carbon and for four chlorines. What do you come up with on that total? Not 22. What are we doing? Each carbon has how many valence electrons? Four. Each chlorine has how many valence electrons? How many? Seven. Okay. For a total of? Isn't that 32? Yes, no. If you don't know where I got that number from, say, whoa, explain that again, because that's step one. We've got four more steps to go. We good? Okay. Step two. Sketch the molecule. You guys sketch the molecule. Okay, guys, you should have sketched something like this. That's what I was looking for for a sketch. Do you see that now? Okay. Did anybody do anything? Maybe look over here. I'm going to draw something that's really, really wrong. Okay. Do you see that that's really, really wrong? It is. You just you need to see that that is not how you do it. <clears throat> now, how did you know to put the C in the middle? Okay. Does it make sense that if, like in CCL4, if you've only got one C and four chlorines, that the one you have one of would go in the center? and everything else will go around it. A lot of times, y'all, not always, but a lot of times, whatever comes first, like C, Cl4, that's your central atom. It's usually written first, but not always, okay? So this is what we have as a sketch of the molecule. Now, I'm gonna have to change slides for step three. Satisfy the octets of all atoms bonded to the central atom. And I'm going to, on this slide, I'm going to redraw what we already have from step two. <clears throat> what does octet mean? Yeah, octet means eight, doesn't it? So satisfy the octets means make, make them eight. Of all atoms bonded to the central atom, what atoms is that talking about? What atoms are bonded to the central atom in your structure? The chlorine. So do you see that what this is saying is make all these chlorines have eight? Now, right now, how many, I'm going to point out this chlorine on the side over here. How many electrons does that chlorine have right now? Seven. 
mm -mm. right now in what I have drawn. How many electrons does a bond mean? Do y'all know? That line is a bond, isn't it? Each line means two electrons. Okay? So right now, this chlorine has two electrons. In order to make it have a total of eight, I need to add how many? I mean, four times two. It has two. If it needs eight, I need six electrons to add it to it, don't I? Yeah? This is the math for chapters eight and nine. Okay? No calculators required. When I add six electrons to it, I'm going to add dots around it. And I'm going to do that. What we were doing last time, I told you guys to imagine that there's a square around the element. A square has four sides, so you've got four sides to put dots on. That's how you would draw the dots. I'm going to, on this bottom chlorine, I'm going to draw them wrong. First of all, do you see that that bottom chlorine also needs six more to make it have eight? You wouldn't do something like this. What's wrong with it? It's just not clean. Do you see that, how they're just kind of scattered all six around? You want to draw them so you sh you're showing them that they're on the four sides, okay? How many does the chlorine on the right need? How many dots? It also needs six. How many does the chlorine on the top need? Six. So, do you see that that structure it has now completed rule three with what I have drawn there? When you have finished step three, you want all the chlorines to have eight. Do you guys see that this chlorine now has eight? I've just circled its eight electrons. Do you see that? Do you see the chlorine on the bottom likewise has eight? This chlorine has eight, and that chlorine has eight. Okay, we're counting all the electrons in the bond for the chlorine. In a minute, we're also going to count those for the carbon. Let's go to rule five. No, four. I can't count. Rule four is place leftover electrons on the central atom. What does that mean, place leftover electrons on the central atom? Well, y'all, if you look back at step one, how many electrons did we count up in step one? 32, okay? That's, that's the number we have to work with. We've got 32 electrons to work with. Y'all, you can't, you can't make more electrons, and it is not good to conserve. It's not a good thing if you only use 28, okay? You have to use all 32 electrons. Look at your structure. How many electrons are there? You've got to count the dots and you've got to count the bonds. How many electrons are there? 32. You should count 32. Do you all count 32 electrons used there? 8 times 4 is 32. Yeah, 8 times 4 is 32. Each one has 8. Okay? So when it says place leftover electrons on the central atom, if I had 32 to use and I've used 32, there are no leftover electrons to put on the central atom. So I might be finished with my structure. That's a check mark. We've got to check some things to see, is that the Lewis structure for carbon tetrachloride? The first thing we want to check is, did we use all of the electrons? What does that mean? It means I had 32 to use, did I use all 32? And the answer is yes. The second thing I want to check, does every atom have an octet? Okay. 
So did I use all of them? The, we said yes. Does every atom have an octet? Now I'm going to go back to the previous slide because I had circled the octets for all the chlorines, right? Look at carbon's octet. Do you see how the bonds, I counted them twice to make sure everything had an octet? I counted each bond for its chlorine and for the carbon because that's what a covalent bond is. Electrons are shared so that everything gets an octet. So the answer to the second question is yes. If the answer to both questions is yes, then you have your Lewis structure. But both have to have an answer of yes. If the answer to one is no, then you have to fix it. That's where rule five comes into play. So here comes rule five. If there aren't enough electrons, to give the central atom an octet, Then A, the first thing you would do is try multiple bonds. B, if that doesn't work, it may be an exception to the octet rule. For the one we just did, when we got to step four, and I wrote in green up here, I wrote those two little checks, the answer to both of those questions was yes. Since the answer to both of those was yes, that means this right here, the C and the CLs with all the dots, that is our Lewis structure. For this one, we don't need number five because it checked out. Does that make sense? Questions? Yet? No? No?